Stop screwing around. I'm not screwing around. It just can't. I can't stand up. I'm going to be injecting ice water in your ear canal. If the resulting eye movements are at all erratic, then the balance problem is in your inner ear. Those in every room. I think so. Can you get rid of them? Preferably from every room? They use over 30 pesticides to grow commercial flowers. You'd think the medical industry would be a lot Concerned more... Concerned with medicine? Let's fix your body, then you can go back to fixing the earth. This is gonna get a little uncomfortable. You just spent 14 hours chained to a tire. Most doctors would recommend... And our planet's headed for destruction. Coastlines underwater, a million species extinct. Whoa. Feels like I'm tumbling head over heels. It's normal. Sometimes this test causes vertigo. <laughs> And nausea. Tests made the patient lose his lunch, but his calorics are normal, his inner ear is fine, and he still can't balance himself. How many normal test results do we need to know the patient's a granola-filled phony? He's not lying about his symptoms. And you know this because? She changed her shoes. If he was faking, he'd have vomited on the other side of the bed. Sparring with the police and chaining yourself up for days can cause stress. Stress screws with the heart and arteries. Carotid atherosclerosis could cause a loss of balance. Wouldn't show up on CT or MRI. Could also be our only warning before a massive stroke. Do a halter and a carotid Doppler. See if his heart skips for more than the spotted owl. <laughs> Sorry if this is screwing up the test. Been hiccuping a lot lately, but <gasps> not as bad as this. How much is a lot and how long is lately? It's been on and off for about a week. Maybe a few hours a day. Did you tell the doctors in Philly about it? They didn't seem to think it was any big deal. Patient is on a jihad against commercial flowers. He's picketed several nurseries. Organophosphate poisoning can cause both hiccups and... No GI problems, no hypersalivation. It's possible it's not connected to a protest. MS wouldn't show on the CT and his name's Swenson. Scandinavians have an increased susceptibility to MS. Better theory than he's faking it. The clogs have it. Do a lumbar puncture to confirm MS. I'm uh, Doug Swenson's wife. His history said the environmental kamikaze was single. He, um, he probably didn't want me to worry. He told me he was in jail with some of the other protesters. Yeah, well, no worries there. He's in jail a lot. Not so often in the hospital. I searched his email and I found the referral to you yesterday. You must really love your husband and travel by rickshaw. It only took you 18 hours to get here. Who eats kale? so bland, it doesn't even taste like kale. Uh, I had to find somebody to take care of our four-year-old son. Doug's all right, isn't he? I have no idea. I know he's an idiot. And now I've learned that he's a liar. When are you gonna stop this? How can you ask me to stop? You're in a hospital. You have a son. The steroids ought to get him breathing normally again. But autoimmune diseases are serious. Might not be a bad idea to take some time at home, rest up. I can't just quit. Do you hate us that much? I love you, and I love our son. But why should he matter more than everyone else's? He does. Why? Because he's biologically connected to me? There's no rational reason. He's our son. And he's gonna need to drink clean water and breathe clean air. I'm doing this for him, too. Excruciating pain in his left leg, acute onset about 10 minutes ago. What are you doing to him? I assume they were checking for vascular pulsation. Negative, or he's a big wuss. Not a tumor or an aneurysm. Metabolic bone disease? Bone density's normal. But the bone covering might not be. If it's osteomyelitis, an infection, eating weight is periosteum. Explains the pain. Odds are it's a subclinical infection that we made worse with the steroids we gave him. Start him on IV antibiotics, x-ray his legs to confirm osteomyelitis. Cameron's already done a full set of lower body x-rays. The infection obviously flared. Do him again. His femur's fractured. That's impossible. It's the hardest bone in the body. And he broke it lying in bed. How can you have a broken femur without so much as a bruise? Whatever broke it had to do it from within. Osteogenesis imperfecta? 
Brittle bones wouldn't cause hiccups, plus we'd have seen abnormal coloring in the sclerae. Which leads cancer. When does bone cancer cause hiccups? Which means it's not bone cancer. Or it's not cancer. The house is right. It'd be hard to find a guy outside Chernobyl who'd been exposed to more carcinogens, pesticide plants, nuclear waste sites. Tell Chase to repair the brake. You two prep him for chemo. You want to blast him with chemo for a cancer we don't even know he has? Nope. I want to blast him with chemo for a cancer that explains the symptoms. Nuclei were all normal sized. Bone cells are well differentiated. No dysplasia means no cancer. That's good, isn't it? We hope so. Although it also means we still have no idea what caused the break. How's it feel? It hurts. Is it supposed to look like that? No, but it's probably just residual bleeding from the surgery. We should be able to. Need two units of FFP right away. Oh my God, what's happening? It's bleeding out. Loss of balance, pathological hiccups, air leak between the lungs, broken femur, now tachycardia. Go. Come on, give me something. Give me a bad idea. Maybe I could turn it into a good one. Fine. Open him up, put in a defibrillator. It's permanent and risky. We don't even know what, if anything, is wrong with his heart. Redo all the tests. In the meantime, open him up, put in a defibrillator. So he can live long enough for you to finish the tests. Hi. Got a few questions. Uh, we're about to start doing a hopefully pointless medical procedure. Your life and my mojo hang in the balance. Pesticides are evil, which means the commercial flowers are doused in evil. But plant life is nature's answer to evil. So you have a garden. No, we live in an apartment. A window box, then? No. Potted plants? Nothing. The commercial growers are... Yeah, they're evil. Yeah, got it. House, I really don't think we have time for this. Your marriage sucks. Thank you. All marriages suck. Your marriage sucks. No. I love her. He loves a tree in Oregon more than he loves you. But he can't have sex with it. Unless it's that slutty oak outside Portland. You want to get to your point? She's had enough. She's going to leave. Maybe she's just not putting out. Whatever. You got to make it right. Right away. You got to compromise that precious flower principle. Never. Once. Three weeks ago, our anniversary. I missed the dinner to be at that rally. You planned it for months. You were mad. Really mad. I bought you flowers. I brought them home, and you were gone. So was your suitcase. I tossed and bought you the earrings. Roses? Yes. You have sporotrichosis. It's an infection from the thorn of the rose, which, by any other name, is still cheap marital aid. The flowers are what gave me... Lesion on your eighth cranial nerve knocks out your balance. Another on your phrenic nerve gives you serial hiccups. We then spread it to your bones and heart with steroids and insulin-like growth factor. Please tell us that this is good news. It's good news for him. It's good news for future generations. It's crappy news for you. He's gonna be fine. He'll never doubt himself again. <laughs>